Hey guys, Muffin Sports Cards here from Instagram. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that page if you're just here from YouTube. But uh, first off, let me just start by saying thank you for being here. Uh, this is my first YouTube video card wise, and uh, it's really special, I guess, because I'll be showcasing today my Nile Davis collection that I've worked very hard on since around mid October or so, whenever I started my job. So, uh, just kind of enjoy this. It's not something I've put time in since he first came into the NFL. It's only something I started, like I said, this last October. So I think I've grown my collection up pretty good since then, and I hope that you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying yes, that is the full rainbow in the background, minus the super and minus two of the other chrome plates for the 2013 Topps Chrome Rainbow. Uh, also, if you can't see, I have a little background piece. This will be the mini autographed helmet by Nile Davis with COA from uh, Motown Sports Cards. So, really nice addition. I got that off eBay. Most of this I have acquired off of eBay. Uh, but nonetheless, here we go. I will try my best to keep this going well. I don't think I'll be able to keep it like that. Uh, let me see if I can't get a better read. Good. Let's just go like this. All right. Without further ado, here we go. I'm not really gonna go into any detail with my uh, inserts and base because I mean that's all. That's all my base right there. That's too much to go through. I mean I've got like numbered stuff. Nothing you guys would really care for. You guys would skip ahead in the video like I usually do. Uh, we'll start with small relics. I don't have them in any particular order. I just have stacks. So let me see if I can't start here. Uh, out of 99, we have Topps Chrome Relic. Pretty nice card. X Fractor. Nothing really special, but I mean, it's a card. And uh, out of 150, Relic from Strata. One color. Nothing, nothing big, of course, as usual. Uh, we got a seam on this one out of 99. We're getting places. We got a seam going. Really nice. I've had this card from a long time. Got it from a good friend off of Instagram who lives in Bakersfield, actually, California. Uh, small relic blue chip from Limited. Small relic on the uh, RC logo. And these two are nice. I got these on eBay when I first started collecting. Uh, we have the plain one here from Supreme. It's going to be out of 50. Really nice, but also I had to get this one out of 25 to match it. It's got a little triple color there. It's kind of peeking out from behind uh, the arm that he's holding the football in. Really nice card. Really, really clean. I like, I like uh, Supreme's die cut relics. And uh, I have a few museum collections. One I got from a friend on uh, that actually lives in my town. He got me this. Uh, I live in Texas, so I don't really have any major card shops, local card shops, so I have to rely on eBay or my friends, and I actually have one friend in Winsboro, which is where I live, small town in Texas, who helped me actually get started, or I helped him get started to say that, and he helped me get some Nile Davis stuff in return, which was really nice of him. Uh, quad patch here, out of 99, nothing big, nothing big, but... Now it's time to move on to the bigger items. I'll move this out of the way. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to just autos. Here. We got an out of 49 elite die cut. The light's not really well where I'm at right now. Makes it look like a rainbow though, so it looks really cool. But sticker auto, I'm not a big fan of sticker autos, but... I mean, what can you do? I like the die cut, so I'm not going to be picky. Uh, we have a base Bowman. I've always wanted to do the Bowman Rainbow just because he actually has autographs because he actually, you know, signed these and he's actually on the checklist for these unlike some uh, products he's not, like the Topps Chrome, which irks me, but that's another story in itself. But I got this really nice base. I always wanted to do the Rainbow. Never have really gotten into it, though. And uh, then we have the Acetate, which is see-through. You can see the helmet through the back, but it is autoed if you look closely really thin card. It's pretty bendable actually, but I have it in a mag. Most of my Niles are in a mag and I showcase them when I'm not, of course, doing videos like these. And then this really nice card. I really like this because, I mean, it's a tops, and he didn't have any autos from the chrome set like I was talking about or even the base set, so 
I mean, this kind of works out because it's one of the few autos he actually did for Topps Chrome or Topps the regular base version. So I gladly picked this one up. It's out of 79. Uh, I don't know if we'll get a good view on that. Probably not. It's not going to focus, but out of 79 nonetheless. And uh, I'll go to these numbered because this auto goes with it kind of. Uh, Prism Camo, graded 9.5. I picked this up on eBay as one of my first, actually, Niles that I got. It was part of my first 10 that I got, so it's kind of stuck around as just a piece that I enjoy having. But this, it's one of my favorites, pristine. It's just a base platinum, but it is still pristine. Only thing that ruined it was corners, 9.5, of course, but still really nice. But to go with uh, non-graded, but I will get it graded eventually, will be the, uh, I think they call it, Flurry or whatever. I don't know what they call this actually. Someone in the comments, I'm sure you'll help me out. Flurry or some type of thing. Ice. Really nice. Um, if you can see it in the light, shines out of 50. And also got this prominent Letterman auto. Uh, I believe it's numbered out of 100, I believe. Yes, 100 is the only one I've ever seen. I want to get the rest, of course, the D, the V, the I, the S, but I've only seen the A, this one, so let's hope that eventually I'll be able to find more. Uh, next here we have the metal. Really nice card. It's really shiny, really red in person. It's kind of hard to tell over the camera, of course, and from my viewpoint. But uh, it's out of 100. 100 out of 100. You pay one of one if you're into that stuff. So it's a good addition. Uh... What else? I guess I'll show you. I'm kind of not really almost done, but I'm getting pretty low. Uh, we'll go with my vintage. I collect uh, his vintage autographs, I guess. The tops, the ones that he did sign for the tops, the vintage look, the 52s, the 59s, the 64s. Uh, this is kind of the oddball one, Fleer. It's the vintage, I want to say the 91 version. Uh, it's got the auto, the throwback, so I kind of add that with my set, even though it's not part of it. And also, I add the Topps Turkey Red as well, just because it's vintage look to me, and it looks like it's a little tore up. Very nice card, very nice. Got uh, the auto there. But then you have the four from the actual set, which would include the mini. Mini Bowman out of 52. Then you got Tall Boy. I want to say this is 65. Tall boy auto. Uh, do not know, remember, I want to say 59, but he's got the uh, number 35 like he did on this one. I love when he adds the 35 just because KD is kind of vague in itself to me. And one of my favorite cards overall is the out of 140, 140 out of 140 actually, uh, 1986 auto. It's really hard to see the auto, kind of the light's not hitting well, but. I mean, it's there, and you got the vintage look in the background, of course. So as we move forward, I'll kind of move those a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll move on to these just because I really don't want to show my inceptions yet. Uh, here's an out of 10, just the patches. Out of 10, this will be your 10 out of 10. Then I got a 3 out of 10, I believe. Yes, 3 out of 10. Uh, they match. Match each other. I like to compliment my cards. That's a big thing on Instagram I show. I like to match them up. Kind of helps keep the PC alive, I guess, if you want to say that. It doesn't make it boring. But uh, up next, we have the out of 130, the auto. I want to upgrade this, eventually get the rainbow, maybe. That's out of 25, I want to say. Auto for it kind of upgrade the five star little collection that I'm getting. And then the next five star would be the relic with the auto. Uh, it's a triple color. I want to say it's part of the five or the three off of his shoulder right there, off of his shoulder, because you can kind of see the colors. So really nice card out of 94. Of course, like I said, with the other one, I would like to upgrade it to maybe a rainbow out of 25. And this is the one that is the rainbow out of 25, the jumbo patch. Uh, three color, really nice, got the auto to it out of 25, not much more I can ask of this, except it's not a one of one, I guess, <laughs> but really nice, his auto is pretty clean there, it's a little different than what he usually does, but it's 
still a nice card nonetheless. Uh, next up, we're getting pretty pretty close to done here. We have the out of 299 patch auto. I actually got this as a Christmas present from a friend. Uh, really nice guy. He actually lives in Texas uh, near me. So really, really thoughtful. I really enjoyed this actually because I had the uh, the patch. I, I traded it actually a while ago, but I just had the patch, not the auto. So he got me the patch auto. It's really nice. And one of my silent favorites, I don't really talk about this card much, but uh, out of 75, Relic Auto, really nice. Not much you can really say about it. Um, I mean, it looks like a sock or maybe the siding of his jersey right here. Uh, if you kind of look, I don't think it's going to focus, but kind of the three color. And then you got the patch with the auto. It's just a really clean out of 75 card there. So... But now as we wind down, I guess I can show the booklets. I guess I'm kind of running out of the goodies. I mean, I have a lot. I want to show all the Inceptions in one. I might as well just do that, I guess. But I do have a couple of really nice Inceptions. Uh, here. Ooh, I actually forgot this card right here. It's under my stack. Uh, one of my biggest eBay steals. It's out of 25. And I mean, if you look at the patch, you see it's from the uh, chest right up there. You got the patch there, you got it for $4 on eBay, shipped, total. Uh, this has been a card I've always liked. I mean, you even have the nice patch on this side. I mean, you, it can't get much better than that. It's just an overall sick card. I mean, the middle could be there. But for $4, I'll take that any day. But here we go. I'll just go ahead and show the Inceptions to you guys, just because I'm not going to make you wait. Most of you on Instagram know what's coming. Uh... Plain Inception Relic. I do like Inceptions. I haven't made really an effort to go forward and get more, I guess, if you want to say. But just overall, really enjoy Inception, the product in itself. Uh, this one's going to be an out of 75. It was an extra I got thrown in from a huge trade I got with uh, a guy named Saints Fan Always on uh, YouTube. He's probably the best now collector on YouTube, in my opinion. He's one of the only ones on YouTube, but... Uh, there's one guy on Facebook I know has an insane Nile collection. He doesn't really show it, but definitely Saints fan will be my second favorite and my favorite on YouTube and Instagram. So if you haven't seen his videos, definitely go check that out as well. Uh, look at me, I'm already doing shoutouts in the middle of my videos. Golly. Uh, 345, out of 345 here, a little patch auto, nothing big. This, I want to say, was an extra as well from him in a big trade we did. Uh, he knew I liked Inceptions, so he kind of hooked me up a little bit. The auto, I mean, if you look, that wouldn't grade well, but I'm not really going to plan on grading a card this thick anyways. So, it's still a sick patch if it's not manufactured. Uh, up next, to kind of match that with the red look, we got the out of... What number is this out of? Uh, they don't have it on the back, do they? Uh, not numbered, it looks like, which is shocking. I thought it was. Not numbered. He's got that at 35, or uh, the number 35 on it. Really nice card there. That might have been an extra two, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm kind of, memory's slipping here. Uh, and then this is probably my favorite from the, non, the not the jumbo patches that I have. Uh, the silver, I really want a gold auto of him. From the, the, If anybody has one, I'll definitely consider trading for it because I've wanted the silver and the gold. This one's out of 50. Uh, the gold will be out of 25. Really nice card. There was one on eBay graded, I want to say 9.5, and he declined my offer at 37. Uh, he had it up for about 51. I, I want to say it's still up there, but I definitely want to hit that before I before it ends. I might go for the prices listed. I don't know yet. But here we go. I'll show you now the almost fully completed rainbow for Inception. I just need the out of 86, which I don't know if you know, but that's the highest numbered one so it will be really easy to get it'll be a plain patch more than likely but uh this one will be out of 75 here it's just a plain patch of course i'm gonna try to upgrade the patches on the out of 75 and the out of 50 just because i don't like dual patches but i figured why does might as well get it for the rainbow while i can so nice card there uh out of 50 purple Again, plain patch. It's not even a patch. I mean, they're just relics, pretty much. They don't need that patches. I don't know why I'm saying patches, but plain relic. Then we get to the big boys. We got the out of 25 here. 
Really nice. Really nice. I love the autumn yellow look to it. It's really nice. I actually saw one up for 16 bucks. I want to say, on eBay. Almost grabbed it. It's very identical to this. Patches, I think, just shifted a little bit. But I didn't end up grabbing it because, I mean, I already have one. I don't really need two at that price. I could get something else. Uh, and here's one of the big boys. Uh, one of one. Nike patch. The black, I want to say, background. It looks like black. But I've seen, I've seen them with the Nike logos. This is one of the more perfect Nike logo sets I've seen. I mean, it's like, it's, it's perfect. It's just in the middle. It's not, I saw one that was literally like up like that. Like it went like that. And that's just not very good placing. This is like, when you set back and look at it, it's just perfect. I don't know. It's just something about the card, I guess. Maybe I'm going insane. Maybe I, maybe I love cards too much. I don't know. And my favorite, arguably on Instagram, one of my favorite cards one of everybody's favorite cards probably uh, would be this one. It'll be the one of one AFC logo from the chest. Uh, I don't know if I have a close up, I guess, from this card right here. Uh, that chest piece right there. That's where it's from. The A. I mean, one of one. You can see in the corner. Super sick card. I, I, would, I need a better can, uh, recorder so you can actually see the colors more clear. But I'm not a professional recorder, so I'm not really going to fight with it. This isn't even my recorder, so I'm not going to really argue. Uh, so that's that. That's my Inception haul. It's not a whole bunch. The one of ones are the kind of best parts of it, I guess. I traded off a lot of my collection a while ago. I don't know why. I mean, I've, I always, I sell if I need stuff, if I try to upgrade my collection to get bigger things, that's how I've kind of done that, but uh, I guess in a way it's just, I shouldn't have. There, there are cards I do want back that I sold a long time ago, like a card I got for like four bucks, it was a, it was a, oh, what do they call it? Silhouette, I want to say, or whatever from, it was from, uh, oh, what was the product? Strata, maybe. Strata. It was a shadow box. That's what it was. Shadow box. I traded it to a good friend on Instagram, and now it's in a in the hands of another good friend of mine. But still, I do want that card back eventually. So, but anyways, let's go on. We're almost done here. We got books. We got my other one of one, and uh, my little stash of contenders autos for Nile Davis that I've collected. But uh, here's one of the three booklets I have. Auto out of twenty five. If you see in the bottom corner, out of 25. 3 out of 25. Uh, pretty nice. I actually just, I believe I sealed a deal to trade this. Which is funny because I was just talking about trading and not wanting to trade things in the future. But I did get a pretty good deal on it. I cannot lie. Uh, and for the price I paid for this, it's worth it. The guy collects booklets. And for it being out of 25, I've seen another one just like this that I'm going to go after. And it's got a better patch on this side, so... I guess it's kind of upgrading, and it also helps with my other collection that I have, which is Contenders Autos. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have said what I said and then pull up a card that I just traded away not long ago. Alright, up next will be this. I know Saints Fan has a lot of these, and these cards are awesome. I really like these. I wish that I had all of his. These booklets are just sick. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's a National Treasures booklet. They're out of 49. Uh, if you look on the back side of my mag, uh, minus the last print, 49 out of 49, uh, which is really nice. And uh, it's really nice red lettering on the back. It's just an overall nice card. So, really fantastic addition. And my favorite, it's going to be out of 15. It'll be this Prime. Uh, one of my favorite parts about... I have three favorite parts of this card. Well, I mean four if you want to count the auto. Five if you want to count the numbering. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. First, the numbering. Two, the auto. Three, just, I mean... I mean, just... That's all, that's all you need to know. The glove. Part of the KC. And my birth month is October. And, I mean, you can, with the light on this, it sucks. Maybe if I hold it up to the light or something. It's actually a, a pink wristband or pink sock, I don't know what you want to call that, but it's pink, and breast cancer awareness month is in October, so that's kind of cool, uh, just a little, 
I guess, memento. I don't know what you want to call it. Just a little bit of something that I really enjoy about that card because, I mean, it is my birth month and that's just really cool. So, uh, we're pretty much wrapping up. There are two more things I gotta show you. Well, I mean, two more, I guess, things. I'll go ahead and show you the one on one that I got a long time ago. Look at this, this National Treasures. I really want to make another deal with Saints Fan Always. Those of you who are here probably know if you're searching Nile Davis collections, if you're thinking about collecting him, you probably have skimmed across several of his videos. And I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I know he has a better collection than me. It's not really something that you need to state. Uh, I have people do that all the time. And I mean, I'll, I, he's a really nice guy. I, I would trade with him every day if I could. But uh, this is something he really wants of mine. And I really don't want to give it up. I spent a lot of money on it. I mean, it's a one of one. Like, I mean, it's, on the back it even shows one of one on the top. But, uh, I mean, he has a lot of things that I do like, a lot of things that I want. So we'll kind of see down the road. I, I mean, I've offered it for trade for him. He kind of didn't really want to make an offer. I'm hoping in the future, in the near future, we can maybe make another blockbuster deal. Uh, because he does have a few contenders I want, because I am collecting contenders heavily, and he's got a few uh, other Niles that I would like for this. So, we'll just kind of see. This might be getting moved, but, I mean, it's it's a really sick card. It's one of my favorites. I've, it's been in my collection since, I want to say, around November, December. I want to say I got it for a Christmas present, so around December. So, I got it, I got it for myself. But uh, now, I'm going to... Oh, smacked over a couple of things. Uh, I got one of these flawless boxes, two of them actually, and I I hold my contenders in. Uh, and if I'll kind of show you inside, those are my contender autos that I have set up. Uh, quite a few actually. I have one. I want to say I have two. Yeah. Yeah, if you move that, I have one, two of the base, and then for the variations, I have one, two, three, uh, that's numbered, four, five, five of the va variations base, and then I have a numbered, uh, out of 99 foil, and then I have two of the foils for variations, and some of them are short prints, they don't have stars on the back, uh, Start no stars on that, like some of them do, some of them don't, and also I have an insert autograph. Insert, I don't think it's numbered, and I also have the one of one for the insert autograph matches up. He did a different autograph, it's kind of weird, but I mean, it's a one of one. Uh, my friend up in Michigan, I have a really he might as well be my brother now, I guess. Uh, really good friend that lives up in. Michigan or somewhere like that near Chicago. It's all I know. I'm, I'm not a geography whiz, but he lives up there around there. And uh, he actually went to his card shop and saw that card. And uh, he just he hit me up on uh, Kick. We always talk on there. And he he said, "Hey man, you want me to buy this for you?" <laughs> I said, "Heck yeah!" I mean that that'd just be something that uh, would really be cool to have. I mean, I guess he kind of started my contenders. Uh, Rampage, as most people on Instagram refer it to, because I mean, I've been doing nothing but buying <laughs> contenders for a week. I picked up 70 in the first weekend that I actually started collecting them. Uh, but I'll show that in a different video. I feel like I'll be doing more of these videos for you guys in the future. Uh, things that I guess you could see from my, if you guys are just kind of skimming by and you guys are wondering what. If why you guys should subscribe to me or why you guys should look back in the future for more videos, uh, I have mail days like <laughs> I have mail days pretty much every day. It feels like I just today I had ten packages. I want to say mostly contenders, uh, and I just ordered probably around eighty cards on eBay. Uh, I still have to actually pay for one more of the things. I gotta go do that after I get off this video, and uh, some more things I guess I. I PC Ryan suck up as well, uh, Chiefs kicker, uh, Mr. Irrelevant in 2011 or something like that, I want to say, one of the years, 20, 2009, uh, he's now with the Titans, 
but I still collect him as a chief just because, I mean, he pretty much was the reason behind most of our points that year we went to in 14, and I don't know, me and Dad just always kind of liked him, so it's just kind of something that I just enjoy doing. Uh, and also I collect contenders, like I said, be on the lookout for that. Uh, a lot of update videos. And I guess just a lot of uh, collection stuff in general. I mean, I'm always, I'm pretty fun on Instagram, people like me. So uh, they just kind of, I guess, expect anything from me, I guess. I have different cards. I won't even tell people about cards I'm getting sometimes, and they'll just pop up. And uh, and I'll be doing giveaway giveaways on here. And also several other things. I feel like I'm just kind of dragging on. Dragging on and on. But uh, I guess I'll end this video here. I ended it longer than I wanted. I was wanting to only go to around maybe 15, 20 minutes, but first video, and for those of you who stuck around, I appreciate it. Most of you from Instagram support me, and most of you guys stop by. I mean, I'm working on it. I'm working on the collection. It's getting good, so I'll see you guys later, and be ready for more videos in the future, guys. Tug Muffin out.